JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, bikers striking Kingsvale, leaving two dead. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The police are keeping a close watch on sections of Kingsvale and over, following the fatal shooting of two men in the community on Tuesday night. Two other men were left nursing gunshot wounds in the incident. The dead men have been identified as 32-year-old Danvert Vassal, better known as Goofy, of Woodchurch on Court, Kingsvale, and 36-year-old Dwayne Walford, commonly called Harry, a chef of Flower Hill, Riverside, also in Kingsvale. Reports are that about 9.15 p.m. on Tuesday, the four men were in the vicinity of two shops owned by Walford when men on a bike drove up and opened fire at them. According to residents, Walford was at a cook shop which he operated while Vassal was on his way from work and had stopped at the shop to purchase a meal. One resident, who refused to give his name, said that Vassal was a good man who was at the wrong place at the wrong time. You can't lose our fame, so them kill an innocent youth. The criminal kill a decent person was a character as a man. Them kill a man of Jamaica, declared that man, as he added Vassal leaves behind a young daughter. Raymond Stennett, an uncle of Walford, said he's at a loss as to why his nephew was killed, as he's not known to be in trouble with anyone. Stennett said the gunmen went to one of the shops operated by Walford and fired several shots, injuring two men who were among a group standing in front of the building. They have since been identified as a 19-year-old Mason and a 41-year-old maintenance worker, both of Kingsville addresses. Up to yesterday, the two remained in hospital in stable condition. The gunmen then turned their weapons on the other shop, killing Walford and Vassal. Stennett said his nephew was trying to earn money to maintain his daughter, who will be starting classes at a high school in Westmoreland in September. Right here now, the whole of them are faint out and some. And the mother best child. Right now we have to just stay around her and take care of her, said we. She will go back to this man and come back. Her pressure will rise and something. And him granny the same way, said Stennett. He said that the family was still in grief over the death of his brother who lost his life in a motorcycle accident last year. Up to Wednesday, the police had recorded 29 murders in Hanover, 11 more than the 18 recorded in the same period last year. The parish has also seen 19 shootings, down from 20 recorded in the corresponding period in 2020. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.